Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more type of attack in uh, our ethical hacking that is a phishing attack. Phishing attack. So this is one category of social engineering attacks. Social engineering attack. Right? So here, the attacker will send the malicious links through the emails or sms so once the victim clicks on the links so the victim will be redirected to the web page which is looking as a legitimate website so that we will give our information it will be transmitted to the attacker system right so attack done through malicious links malicious links so usually what happens here so here the link can be of two categories visible link and actual link visual link and actual link so the actual link is so which was written in the anchor tag so this is the link which was written in anchor tag so in the web page we are, we are going to use these anchor tags to create the hyperlinks right and the visible link which is visible to user which is visible to user so there is no synchronization between this visible link and the actual link and once the user watches this visible link and clicks on this one immediately the site will be redirected towards the actual link which was written in the anchor tag so normally most of the users doesn't concentrate on the url which was uh, written in the address bar right so here that will be taking an advantage by the attacker to get the data from the victim right so for example let us try write one simple uh, link. So I will write a h r e f is equal to here. We will generally give uh, let us take uh, google.com. So https www.google.com. So this is the link which was written in the anchor tag. And here I'll write Google and close the anchor tag. So this will be the visible link. This will be the visible link and this will be the actual link. So immediately if you save this with the dot HTML, what we'll get? We'll get a web page, right? With a small text as a Google. So immediately when the user clicks on this Google, automatically it will be redirected to this particular website. So this is a legitimate, right? This is a legitimate. So what at attacker will do? So the attacker will give the target URL. It's not an actual URL. So let it be www. See. The spelling of Google is different, G-O-G-L-E. So, whenever, and the act, the visible link is similar, Google. So, whenever the user clicks on this one, automatically the attacker, I mean, the web page will be redirected to this particular website, which will be looking as a similar to the Google.com. As a similar, right? So, automatically, will give our sensitive information into that particular website because we will treat it as a we will trust it as a legitimate we will never uh, observe the address bar right so obviously we we'll give some uh, sensitive information automatically that complete data will be attacked i mean uh, trapped by the attack so this actual link 
can be an IP address too. That can also be the IP address. Not only the URL, it, it may be also the IP address. So in our Kali Linux, in our ethical hacking, in a Kali Linux, there is a tool called SC Toolkit. SC Toolkit where we can practice all these social engineering attacks. One, uh, one among that one is a phishing attack. So we can practice the phishing attack. We can um, check the, uh, the what type of uh, phishing attack will be done by using a tool called Social Engineering Toolkit, SC Toolkit. So in that we can use this phishing attacks, right? So there will be web templates, cyclonings. So we need to give one IP address so that automatically the template will be cloned to that particular IP address. And we can make use of that IP address to get the details of the victim. Now we'll move on to the Kali Linux. We'll see what is a SC toolkit and how a website can be cloned or how this phishing website can be phishing attacks can be done. Right? So let's move on to the system. Hello friends. So just now we have seen the theoretical part of phishing attacks. So in the Kali Linux, we are having a, so, a social engineering toolkit. So where we can use this phishing attacks. So let us open the Kali Linux and here go to the applications. And here at the last bottom, you will be finding the 13th one that is a social engineering tools. And here you can see the social engineering toolkit, SC toolkit. So click on that one. So it will prompt for the password. Just give the password and uh, see you will be finding a lot of attacks here. So one is a social engineering attack, penetration testing, third party modules, etc, etc. So you can go with the one first one that is a social engineering attacks. So you type one and press enter. And in that social engineering attacks, we can have a lot of attacks here. So a lot of attacks, see spear phishing, website attacks, infectious media generator, create a payload and listener, mass mailer attack, Arduino based attack vector, etc, etc. So go with the website attack. So we'll see the website attack in this session. Right, so uh, type two and uh, press enter, and in that uh, website attack that can be done with the help of a lot of uh, methods. So by using the Java uh, applet uh, attack, Metasploit browser, credential harvester, tab nabbing, web jacking. So all for all these kind of methods, you will be having the theoretical part here. You can observe here. See Java applet attack method, Metasploit browser exploit, credential harvester, etc., etc. So we'll go with the credential harvester method. So which will uh, utilize the web cloning of a website that has a username and password field and harvest all the information posted to the website. So by using this credential harvester as the uh, as it was mentioned, the complete website will be cloned to the legitimate website and it will prompt for the username and password whenever the victim enters the username and password in the given fields automatically that will be tra trapped by the attacker right so we'll see the credential harvester attack method so just type three press enter and see and that can be done in three ways one is the web templates we can use the available templates or we can clone uh, our own website which is having the username and password fields, right? And the third one is a custom import. So we'll use the templates, already available templates. So I will type one and press enter. Uh, here we need to give one uh, IP address so that to that particular IP address, it will be cloned. I'll give this one 192.168.71.130. So here there are three templates. One is a Java required. Another one is a Google, another one is a Twitter. So these are already available templates. So we are not doing anything. So just we are using the available templates. And before using that, just one thing I just want to say. So this is only for the educational purpose. So don't try on your personal revenges, right? So just learn what is, what exactly the phishing attacks and what exactly the attacks being done, how the attacks being done. Right. So don't uh, take or don't make use for your personal revenges. Right. Yes. So we can use the uh, one among these three templates. One is a Java required template. Another one is a Google template. Another one is a Twitter template. 
So obviously we'll go with the Google template because we all know about this google.com how the page will be look like it, right? So just go with the second template, uh, select a template. So I'll select two Google. So see, you can observe the message cloning the website www.google.com. So the best way to use this attack is if username and password from uh, form fields are available, regardless this captures all the POS TS on the website. So already you, you can observe already the website has been cloned to the given IP address. So previously we have given some IP address, right? So to that particular IP address, the uh, www.google.com has been cloned and directly we can make use of that particular template. See, now what we have done. So we'll see the visual, visual link and uh, active link. Okay, so I will open the notepad. So I'll write a simple HTML code, HTML, and I'll write a body. And here I'll go with the anchor tag, a h reference is equal to HTTPS. And instead of giving google.com, I'll give 192.168.71.130. So this is the IP address which we have given for cloning, right? So here I'll give Google and anchor tag, right? See, body and uh, HTML. So usually we'll get the mails, we'll get a mail receiving this type of links that like, like your account has been uh, suspended. So in order to resume your account, please uh, do your eKYC or Relog into your website, right? Click on this link to uh, click, click on this link to uh, update your KYC, etc., etc. Will be uh, getting the emails, right? So there, the actual link. This is the actual link. Will be completely different from the visual link. So usually the visual link is Google, and uh, if you click on this Google, it should be redirected to the Google.com. So but here instead of giving Google.com, I am giving our own IP address, right? So I'm saving this one. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll write uh, some Google dot Google dot HTML. So you can observe here. You can observe Google dot HTML. So just click on this one, and here you can find the link because we have given not given anything else except this link. So click on this link automatically it will be redirected to the Google page, okay, which was cloned to this particular address. No, just a second. We'll change the, we'll remove the secure and this one. See, you got the Google, right? See, so complete similar, similar, okay? So hope you understood. Actually, this is not the google.com, okay? This is not a google.com. This is a cloned website from the google.com. And we'll not observe the address in the address bar, the URL in the address bar. So simply we'll see the visible content and we'll see, yes, this is a original website. This is a genuine website. So obviously we'll give some ABCDEF uh, at uh, some gmail.com and we'll give some password, our own passwords, right? And click on sign in, automatically it will redirect. And nothing happens here, nothing happens here. So once you go to the attacker system, you can observe the complete data has been recorded here, A, B, C, D, E, F at gmail.com and this is the password which you have entered into the password field. So whatever the data we are giving on the fields, that will be recorded in, by the attacker system, right? So this is how the phishing attacks will be done. So we should be very careful while clicking on the links which we received on the emails and if you are using, if you are clicking the link, just observe the address bar, the URL, so actual URL to which the page has been redirected.
right so this is how it will be happens the fish fishing attacks will be happen and see once again we'll see um once again i'll repeat with one more template so go with the third option credential harvester so i will use uh, templates and uh, give the uh, ip address to which it should be cloned 168 78 some 130 and see now i'll go with the first one java required and that particular java request so this this is also a frequent uh, page we'll receive while uh, visiting the websites so frequently we will we are getting we'll get the message that uh, java should be updated it, should, it requires some java to be updated please install the java etc etc we'll be receiving right so like that see now uh, let us check 192 168 130 now so this is the java required page java required page so this is a clone to this particular website now okay previously the google.com has been cloned now the java required template has been cloned so here you can observe so java latest update just go with the search so nothing happens but everything will be recorded here so you can observe here see java latest update so we have entered this in the website which was shown in the attacker system right so this is how the phishing websites will be done so the attackers will create a malicious links and the attacker will send these malicious link to the victims through the mails or the messages so once the victim clicks on the link which was sent by the attacker automatically if uh, the page will be redirected to the the cloned website the malicious website and there if you enter any sort of data so that will be recorded by the attacker right so hope you understood and once again i'm repeating this is only for the educational purpose and don't uh, make use of it for your uh, personal revenge right so hope you understood this uh, phishing attacks so this is how the phishing attacks will be done right so here we have done the credential harvester attack method so we are just getting the credentials which which was given in the websites yes so let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section uh, definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you re really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching Thank you very much.